to be able fully to appreciate trees their mode of life their enemies and their care one must know something of their structure and life requirements structure of trees among the lower forms of plants there is very little distinction between the various parts no differentiation into root stem or crown often the lower forms of animal and vegetable life are so similar that one cannot discriminate between them but as we ascend the scale the various plant forms become more and more complex until we reach the tree which is the largest and highest form of all plants the tree is a living organism composed of cells like any other living organism it has many parts every one of which has a definite purpose the three principal parts are the stem the crown and the root the stem if we examine the cross section of a tree we will notice that it is made up of numerous rings arranged in sections of different color and structure the central part is known as the pith around the pith comes a dark close-grained series of rings known as the heartwood and outside the heartwood comes a lighter layer the sapwood the cambium layer surrounds the sapwood and the bark covers all the cambium layer is the most important tissue of the tree and together with part of the sapwood transports the water and food of the tree it is for this reason that a tree may be hollow without heart and sapwood and still produce foliage and fruit the crown the crown varies in form in different species and is developed by the growth of new shoots from buds the buds grow out to a certain length and forms the branch afterwards it thickens only and does not increase in length new branches will then form from other buds on the same branch this explains in part the characteristic branchings of trees 